Hello YouTube, it's me, and this is the Bandit Network Machine Walkthroughs at my YouTube channel, and this is really, really hard room, so this is really complicated, and I finished this room at this fourth place that you can see is over here. Then that means our, we have to be solve this mission together with detailed explaining definitely. So let's get starting. So you just have to be join this room is over here. Then you just have to be start your um, to network here. But then so you just have to be go here to access open link in new tab and then go here networks and then download link bandit uh, configuration VPN file is over here. So let's go downloads and starting here open VPN and uh, this uh, bandit open VPN file then yes then we actually started it. So what we have to be understanding this diagram so we have here Linux machine is it's actually Ubuntu machine and it has no um to access on the on the lasso cat and we have like here the Windows machine so we have to be access this window, Windows machine before we use this Ubuntu machine and we have to be using here Pywood. So um to let's get starting how we can actually use it. So if you are reading description they are actually show you how you can register this um to to Ubuntu machine. You just have to be go for the socket two hundred and the fifteen is over here. So let me go there and uh, for example this could be um sorry then so let me use in here SSH register but you have to be give it to your IP address is like here. So then this could be like for example, mine is um, ending with uh, up to 114 and 250 is over here. Then they are actually giving us that um, to uh, username and password here. So let me run here register. Then yes, welcome to Band of Challenge. Please make a selection so for register. Please press one. So let me register here, and so my octet is um ending with um forty. So so they gave us here um to IP address. So we have to be adding onto it bandit ASCAP hostname as our etc host file. So let me copy that and then go here nano and etc and the host file is over here. So time to be deleting all of them. Then paste here bandit dot escape is like that definitely. So now we are until able to go for bandit escape. So before they go that let's get started here MM scan. So we are just um able to look for um default scripts and mercy number. So if it's there any ED port, so let's go here to bandit.escape to domain is over here. Then yes it worked because they are using here the AD port. So if it's there using here AD port, we have to be start or verb seeds is over here. Then yes, then we get here on the MR results and they are using here 80 ports and 80,002 ports here for another web server. So we got here another web server here, so let's go. Um there is no yes because of that. Now uh alright, so that's cool. Um let me run in here on AD task board. Then they actually giving us the here the same web server. So which one we have to be focused it? I think we have to be using here burp suite. So let's start my burp and then I show you which one is our real target. So you just have to be go here to target and then turn on your burp and then the sending request for more time for both of them. Then yes, we got here the request. So if you're looking bandit escape 80,002 ports, 
you will see here ng inks is equal server is equal to ng inks but for bandit escape 80 ports you will see that this server is equal to atc 7.1.1 so that means or we have to be focused on atc 7.1.1 so or real target is equal to 80 ports on bandit escape so let's close these tabs and then focus on the server so before the focus on the server i think we have to be starting here dear buster for looking for if it's there any different directory for us so let me run in here dear buster then here http um bandit dot escape the for the word list you can use um user share um word list um tier browser directory list um 3.3 um 2.3 medium.txt so let's start it so now we got here our target and they here they just use here the login page we can access it but if it's um starting here admin that admin so look at my um to login the php request yes they are using here the post method so this is really important for us so do another things we have to be looking for so if you go back here then yes we got here the search tab for example let me send in here s s at or the, the random things is over here and it's giving us here null so um we have to be looking for if it's there any search tab if it's there any different tab like a message tab or the email tab you have to be try here um xss like that so script alert one is script but it didn't work here so if it's the reflected xss so let's try this then yes it worked so we got here to reflected xss so we can use it for to um to getting requests for the web server here so let's keep doing but so before they use it we have to be focused on this um the server so let me use it it and then uh, they go for this then you just have to be go for exploit i actually to hear guy um to looking for all um to website for the atc 7.1.1 then and um, this one so this one protocol rire attack and github page will really help you so if you are checking your the dear buster scan then you will see here upload that php so actually our goal is to getting the reverse shell for the server so we have to be access upload.php so that is really cool then when you are scroll down and uh, you will see here to how you can use and this page will um actually uh, teach you of this http smuggling and, and then this one http smuggling and the request make link is actually to attacking here so you will understanding if you are reading this but if you want to be do is on this lab you just have to be go here http um, smuggling for example so yes this one so you had you just have to be go port swigger and you have to be access this lab and you have to be sold this lab directly so we're gonna be using this lab for the um to solve this machine so if you want to be read something you can use it but if you want to be doing something you have to be sold this lab then jumping this machine so your first way have to be use this machine is over here but if you can check at the solution and if you are understanding that's fine for you so that means or you just have to be understanding it's how http smuggling is worked it's actually here so we just have to be getting here like um, um to four down to atc sevens and how does it work they are actually doing what uh, what they are doing here just getting sending their get request twice is over here I actually use it here this one or you can use it like this one it doesn't matter you just have to be um to go on your repeater for example let me send it then repeater so if you are sending it then you will check it here to uh, for your bandit escape javascript source code 
So for the user gates, I have actually here the two codes. The first one is equal that, and the second one is equal that. You can use them for your um. Yes, it's actually you can use them for your um to payloads. So let me use the my third um the second payload is over here. So you just have to be using this on your repeater. You just have to be um to copy that and then go your repeater is over here. Just paste it here. Then the second one. You just have to be go um home Elliot then document uh, CD Babbit. Yes, is over there. Then um, you have to be created here cat for example test a JavaScript file and this is this could be your JavaScript file is over here. Then you can use it for to um uh, to getting requests for the web server is over here. But the, before they use this you have to be it's actually here guy right, to um to uh change it to your IP addresses. So let me cast that JavaScript file then go there. Yes. For example, let me run it here one 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 dot and uh, forty. This is my um to IP address. That's fine. So let's start in here Python three um dash and HTTP server on AD port. So the here again you have to be uh, changing your IP address. Then give you here your IP addresses here. Then the end of 40 for the cat. So that will actually give you PHP SSS ID for the web server here. So um, let me send it. And then uh, so for it has to be um, to getting it. No, not yet. So send it, send it, send it, and it's not working, you know. So you just have to be go here, content link, and to give here this one, and to go your settings, update content link, and um, send it one more time. Then it will be work for you. Is over here. Yes. So we are actually don't get it anything yet. Um, yes, um, it could be like different. We have to be doing here. Is it like then? <clears throat> so, because of this content lag, so let me um, to read this. And then send it, it one more time. And it's actually giving us this content lang is changing, but it's not giving us here any um, to PHP SSS IDs over here. So let's try this one. All right, so you just have to be given here. Then you have to be change your IP address. Is over there. And yes, then let's send it. So before, yes, then we got here the PHP SSS ID of the server. All right, is over here. This is really could be important for us. So then let's guys to paste here. So we got here PHP SSS ID. So let's copy that and go on your web server. So let me run it here in pack queue and go to storage and I'm changing this value with our PHP SSS ID. So now um, let's check it. Can we actually hear um, looking for upload.php? So if it's work, upload.php. Then yes, it worked. So we got here upload.php. So now we can uploading in our image is over here. So for example, let's just try. So let's um, turn on my bird one more time and go to browse and select the red.png that's really don't and don't um, so it doesn't matter. So um, let's upload and you got here the size of image you are attempting uploads is too big, right? So that is cool. So let's go your target then we got here. Yes, we are actually trying to uh, uploading here red.png file. So for the analyzing it, let's send repeat up, then send it one more time, then it's giving you a message as the 
you're attempting to apply that is too big for um, the size of image. So let's um, deleting all of things to here and try here for example hello. Then so let's send it it one more time. Then yes, it worked. So we got here image uploads is successful. So this is really cool because it worked. So we have to be changing or something different here. But if you go here, so let me copy this and to go here one more time. Um, we can go actually to here. Then if you are checking here. We've got here just three image now. It's like just not three. We have here um to for the image is over here. So for the understanding, it let's control you here. Then if you are looking your um to uh PNG file here, um I think it's is over here, right? So let's open it now. Um. Can we open link a new tab with that wave source? Please? No. Uh, let's do it. Then um, so we know they are changing this or file name. So we don't know how they are changing, but it's look like MD5. So you just have to be going here CyberChef. So let me go here CyberChef. Then run here red.png. And select here MD5. Yes. Then, yes, we got here. They are really using here MD5 for the um, to converting or file name. So now we are accessible it. They are just using here to MD5 hash for the converted file name. So let's actually try to here uploading PHP. So again, um, let me go here my target. So upload image. So browse. And for example, let me choose it. Then upload this image and go here. So yes, this is my file name. Then send it repeat one more time. Then you just have to be um, deleting all of things here. So before the um to um to don't deleting, you got here to upload images too big because of what? And content type image down PNG file and this file has the um the between is really bigger. So you have to be using here um shortest PHP web shell. So let's uh, looking for this. So let's go here, reverse shell is over here. Then um, looking for here PHP CMD shell here. So we are going to be use it. So let me copy that. Then um, go my burp one more time. Is over here. Then file name i think we can manipulate so let me give in here for example um yes linear to for the png file to php so we got here or linear.php you don't have to be don't work uh, forget it so let me send it then image upload is successful is over here so we got here or to php file so let's go here and looking for linear.php so this is our file name is over here you can check it then i think it's time to be go this uploads and give this file name so yes so we are actually redirecting here something different so if you remember we are using here for the get a shell to four zero so let's use in here if it's work so you know or file name extension is uh, ending with php and zero is equal to here id no it's not like that so dot php and zero is equal to id but 
So yes, guy, it worked. So we got here coma injection. So we can get here to reverse shell on or um, to cut Linux. So let's starting here. Um, let's actually want to be um, to yes, it's could be like here. So that's really fine. So let me start in here and cat dash and we LP on 4444 port and go here again. Just um, change your IP address and just give this and go here and Kimifa. That's my favorite one. Then you have to be go URL encode. Let's encode it. Then, so are we starting? Yes. So go here, then select it on ID port, then it's not. We got shell here, that means our, it worked. So let me run it here, ls. So yes, it worked. So we got here, it's a different shell. So this is really basic to be getting here to username and password for SSH. So you just have to be go here, back up. Um, to ls, so there is nothing for us. So let me um, to run in here ls ai. So let me go back. Then we got here api.php out.php. So it's could be on out.php, for example. Then, yes, we got here username and password for the um, user here. So we got here username and password. It's not here. Sorry. So let me copy that and uh, paste it here. So we got here username and password. So let's try on this. Um, I think we can clear it because we got here username and password. So let me run it here SSH, save admin, add um, to bandit.escape. No. All right. So we can. We have to be running here, so that is fine. Um, yes, I would definitely say with yes here and hardcore um, to means unscalable right here. So controller copy this and just paste it here. Then yes, guy, we hacked this machine and we got here um, to user.txt and the user.txt is over here. The or first flag is like here. So now it's time to be privilege escalation of this Ubuntu server than pivoting for Windows machine. So how is it possible? Let me show you. So before the privilege escalation, the first thing you just have to be running here so the dash L, then yes, it's really basics because it's just giving our safe admin may run sudo for all. So you just have to be running here sudo binary and bash. Then we are root now, but if you are go here the root directory, you will never see here um, any root.txt. So um, you can actually start in kill Olympus, but we already get it here the username at the root here. So we have to be pivoting at Windows. We have to be just looking for here any PowerShell history. So cat um, to and uh, just um, reading it, it's just giving us here you for a set. So let me go here, snap, and then uh, to Docker. There is no, so let me go back, go back, and let's go back. Now there is now on the um, to root file. So let me go home and go here, save admin. So let me run into ls la. So we got here the local. So go here um, to share. Um, to no, no, for example. So there is no. Go back and go here PowerShell. Then, yes, pub. All right, guys. So we got here to console host history txt is over here. So this is the first actually pivoting method for the Windows machine. So let me run it. So it's actually giving us here for the pivoting, you just have to be go Ubuntu page. So let me go here home and Ubuntu. 
then go here um, to look out one more time then share CD PowerShell and the PC real line but there is no any console host uh, history TXT because of its failure of this machine it's not your fault it is machine failure it's not your fault it's machine fault okay so if we want to be pivoting to windows there is could be it is not could be must be here console history txt but if it's not there you can read it again to register this machine so how is it possible so let me exit it here exit exit and exit um, so um let me go here etc host Then select the bandit.escape because we are registered again. So let me run in here register and then uh, register here. So I will just come and give you here the trick. So for example, if you are click on the one for the register and give you your socket on your IP addresses, if you are seeing here lost connection, you cannot see console history txt so if it's there something not understanding me let me um to write for you so okay so if you are seeing here um to lost connection you have to register again um when it's escape so because there is no console txt for lost connection server so all right we got here lost connection we just have to be do it um again so let me register one more time Yes, I will give you here one and give you your socket. Then again, we got here um, to lost connection. So I actually saved it before because you have to be tried for also cat here. Then you will see here console host um, to txt. So for example, let me um, uh, not bandit escape actually. Um, we have to be go this one. So um, if you have a no getting here any lost connection error then you will see here the console host txt on the Ubuntu um, to directory so let me go cd opt and notes and then uh, sublim tags and then um, on the bandit.txt then you will see here to guys here um to console host txt file is over here so um let me show you then if you are go for example um to let me try here one more time sudo binary bash and then go here cd home cd ubuntu cd um locale share no yes cd powershell ls and cd um, powershell read line but you got here nothing but if it's there you cannot get in here lost connection error you will see here there is um the console host history.txt and they giving us password and the username is over here but the, before the access it 
you just have to be go on your Linux machine one more time like this. So let me go root and then for the jumping here PowerShell, please run in here PowerShell. Then it worked. So we just have to be give this command on the PowerShell. It's like here. All right, credential request is for us. Um, so just have to be go save user help desk for the username for the password. Um, not here. Is here right um, you have to be good give this password then yes all right guys we hack also Windows machine so now it's time just reading flag txt again so if you're running here dear they are not using here and they recognize as the name of our cmd alt so this is not working right so if it's not working you just have to be running here get and help so let me run in here get help out and it's worked so if you're scroll down and um, try to reading it, it's actually show you um, how we can use this um, uh, Windows PowerShell. So um, let's run here get command for looking for Yes, all right, so we got here. So those are we can actually use it on this PowerShell. So for example, if you are copy this and paste it here, then you can actually reading something here. It's like that. So it's really cool. We just have to be just use it. But before they use it, the someone is here the um to default, and then the another one is this custom here. You have to be find here the custom one. So if you are for example the clear host and for example go here to for PowerShell. So if you are looking for clear house PowerShell, it's here to default for us. So let's try to exit PowerShell station. So and this is default for us again. Um, get command is also get format data. Um, yes, it's default for us again. So we just have to be looking for the uh here we go to custom one not the default one so this is and again default so um get service application for example let me run in here then yes you know the get sp service application is default but get service services application is not default here this is custom so we have to be focused on the server so on this command sorry so let me run it here all right so right we got here the some different function for the get service application so this is not our default server so that means our, we have to be used to get service application for the server here so um to so for understanding this, we can use get help and for for what you know um, services application. So let me looking for how they are using services application here. So let me and. Yes. Then yes, all right, guys. We found, we found, we found, and we found because they are using here syntax with filter. So this is really cool for us. So we got here how they are using it. 
they just have to be using care get services application the filter methods and object here so for example let's get services here um, then we have to be running here filter then input is over here so for example it could be or my input like ID then it's not working because of the category info is invalid data to select object parameter binding validation exception so um, we are just actually to here give it for example model name it will work but you know they are to on um, the basic things and we have to be given here to different things to here for example let me run in here id again um so let me ask to the chat gpt all right really oh my god so let me go here chat gpt oh it's it is because of the verb all right so we just have to be giving here display name but we just have to be now here um then they are using here to filter property id does not set so let's try here command injection so id then it's not still work this one no um this one then yes we got here to um no 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 we we don't get it um all right so let me try it with this one um i think we have to be go command injection payloads command simple command injection payload here This one and this one. All right, it could be fine. And then, then we got here some payload. Oh uh, no, we are just have to be um looking for to Windows. Um, if it's there any difference for windows um running here windows um now this is all really um, long um nope right um powershell for notepad now this one so yes it's here windows all right we can use for windows um to parentheses so i actually using parentheses here but maybe it's called my input so let me run here there yes it worked all right guys we now the able to um read this flag so let me dear here to see and use a then yes we got here administrator so let me reading administrator here then yes we got here desktop so let me go here desktop all right so then we got here guy um so we cannot looking for a desktop here and ec2 and the root.txt is over here then you can use it for the type for looking for root.txt all right root.txt and then change your input with type then you will get here to root.txt of this machine and then you will solve this machine directly 
so this is of end of the video guys this is really cool room but this is a really really hard room i really like it and i'm really appreciated to hear for the creator and thank you for watching